So during week two, I got my um, uh, film camera film developed and I was looking through all of these like specific spaces. So I looked at uh, the forest by my house, um, my bedroom, the alleyway by my house and um, the road sign of my road that I live on. And I looked through all my um, film photos of that and I printed them out small so you can see them. Um, so this was my black and white film of the forest. And then for each space, I wrote a poem about it. So this is a poem about the forest. Um, and then I was looking at um, Dado Moriyama, um, his like uh, use of photography, because he uses like um, film photos, even though um, these were taken in 2010. So it's like um, embracing the grainy effect of film and like the almost like timelessness of it. Um, and I was also annotating um, some of his like um, ideas. And I found it really interesting that lots of his work is based on like cityscapes and how much he loves the city. Um, whereas mine's quite the opposite. Like I, I, all my different spaces are quite like rural and um, almost always empty spaces that you never see people in, um, which I just thought was interesting. And here's my film photos of the forest, but in colour. And I like the contrast because these, the black and white makes it look very sort of like surreal and sort of like dystopian. And the color kind of makes it, brings it back into reality quite a bit, but there's still elements of like this surrealism. And I really enjoy this one and this one because they're slightly overexposed. So there's actually two photos in this one photo and two photos in here. And I really like that idea because it embraces the idea that I was having earlier about um, um, moving one space into another space so a space holding like two places or two me like two different memories of different places in one um like area which could be a really interesting thing to explore and then i was looking at um psychogeography and i thought it was a really interesting thing but i'm not sure if i'm gonna continue with it but then i was looking up um like artists and psychotherapy and i found a bunch and then i was like telling myself to research them further and then when i did I actually found I really didn't like their work, so I w I'm not going to put that research in my book um, or in my journal. I didn't, like, annotate any of it. I just looked up and I was like, this is not what I want my project to be about. So I decided against researching that. Um, and this is the idea, again, the idea of moving um, a space into another space. And this is a poem about the my road sign, and I put it with photos of the forest to just kind of, like... Um, just make that connection. So I was looking at the Boyle family, which I found really interesting, their idea of like how they completely replicate um, a segment at random from a different space and bring it into a gallery space. And I think that's the really important thing I need to remember in this project is how I'm going to bring, um, if it's site specific work, how I'm gonna bring it back into the gallery space. And yeah, I really like their work, but also I'm not interested in their elements of like severe um, um, like realism. I quite like the idea of it being like quite surreal or like ambiguous and that sort of aspect rather than realistic. And then I did the same. So this is the, these are photos of the alleyway and the lamppost by my house, which are quite very important moments um, in my life, really. I've got, I've done quite a few work in the past about this alleyway, but I really enjoy these photos because of like the, like gloominess of it. There's just, and they're all lit. This was on red film and they're all lit by the street lamps. So I quite like this idea of like orange glows. And I wrote a poem about them. This is one of my favorite poems um, out of all of them. Um, so it's like a really, I quite like this space the most. This space and the forest are my um, two favorite spaces out of them all. But I've made sure to choose them all specifically because they're all spaces that I have like a connection to that I want to um, make. And then I just found the um, uh, dictionary de definitions of place space and time because these were like the main themes in my initial response to like what i want to um choose for this project i really uh, like the idea that i i found i'm not sure if it's on this bit of research or in another bit but the idea that um what separates a space from a place is a space is just uh like a setting and a, and a place is was previously a space that humans deemed um like more needed so like it's a space um once given an emotional connection to a human becomes a place which i think is a really interesting and then i was thing. looking at time um because i was looking at this idea of like time and space but 
I'm thinking more, I don't want to focus on time as much in this project now. I think I want to focus more on like memories and place rather than time because I'm not looking back or forward in time. I'm just looking at the idea of memories. And I think if I incorporate time into it as well, it would just get too and confusing. And here are um, different coloured films. I, I use like um, coloured acetate over the camera flash to like kind of like these pinks and oranges and like these blues. Um, for photos of my bedroom and then here's the poem about my bedroom and then here's ex extracts from Susan Sontag's on photography book which I found really interesting because this idea of like film photography I really enjoyed and um, she speaks on the fact that she's talking about surrealism and how photography is like the most raw aspect of surrealism but she says um, like things here where it's like she talks about how um, a photo is like a shadow of reality or it's a, re a reality in its own right which is really interesting because I like the idea of my work being like a suggestion of a space rather than like a direct depiction of a space. And I think photography would be a really nice way to like um, start off that process. And then I was looking at the word fragment because that came up quite a bit in all my poems and the idea of like fragmented memories captured in the space. Um, so I just wanted to look at that. And there's quite a few really good words that I might want to use um, later on in this project. And then I was looking at the word topophilia and place attachment, which is much more relevant rather than psychogeography. And this is where like my thoughts really started to like come together and I was really pleased I found this um, because topophilia is the emotional connection to a place, which is like everything I want to explore. And I think that's gonna be my main theme. Um, so I was looking at like the definitions and this strange idea that it's beyond like our memories. So it's like beyond reality and it's just this like new, and like organic thing, which I really enjoyed. And here's the thing I was talking about, a space is transformed into a place when human give it, give it bounds and believe it has value, which I think is just, I love that sentence like so much. And I think that'd be really, really interesting um, just to keep in mind while I make it. And then I was work. looking at this article about um, how like topophilia connections are like stronger when they're um, with spaces that are from the childhood and like you're familiar with. And all my spaces that I've chosen are, I have like been to and been with and have this connection with my entire life. So I think that'd be a really good um, spaces to like keep in mind and I won't choose any others or like um, limit myself. I was also looking at um, Christian Brown's photography and I really like this idea of not his idea about, because um, this was about his inevitable death and the idea that he, the marks he makes in life will still be here once he's gone. But I like his bravery of just making his artwork directly into a space and I quite like the idea of like um bringing his work is quite intrusive like this is quite an intrusive piece of work spray painting on a tree and I don't think I'll do that but I like the idea of um using a tree as like a frame for words and I think I can explore that I really also well. looked at the book Places by Tessa to Dean and this was really interesting just this uh conversation that they documented in the back cover about um how you can't, it's really difficult to depict a space um, unless you use it in memory. So it only exists as a memory of another place in the mind of the viewer. And I think that sentence is gonna, sentence is gonna be something I'm gonna keep in mind very, very dearly because I really like the idea of my viewer having to use their imagination to see the space. So I'm sort of just suggesting a space and they have to like use their mind. To and again here, I was looking at the work of Adam Chod. Chodzko and his work really interested me because it's so simple but really really clever he puts these giant billboards um of like text that he's written and it's sort of like describing the place that the scenery that is um been like displayed in and then it talks about another place so you're in this like you're immersed in the scenery and it's explaining the scenery that you're in but then it leads on to talk to talk about another space so you're kind of like using your imagination to view this other space while you're in another space which is really interesting and then i went to the um camden art center and it was quite small and i didn't really find that much but i found this one artist um called alison cat and i really really liked these two works in particular um this one because it was just a life scale photo of an elevated door which i just found really interesting because seeing that in a gallery space on a wall just creates this crazy illusion that there's like a different space and she's almost like 
suggesting a space, like I said, and I really, really like the idea of like using photos to suggest spaces. And then also this one, just because of its like moments of different places and also just the composition I really enjoyed. So I made like a, um, like a smaller collage version of that using my own film photos and then also just some vintage postcards I had. And uh, these are moments from um, a poem I was writing at the time about um, my whole, all, because basically I've written poems about all the individual spaces, but I wanted to write like a bigger, more like broad poem about my ideas about these spaces and about like um, just emotional connections to spaces in general. And then this is from, we did like a collaborative group project, which was really fun, where we staged a mini protest and we were looking at like sort of like more societal issues with our themes and stuff. And I really, really enjoyed this piece because um, mine was about, mine says, what happened to wondering? With um, like Google Maps and TFL and just there's loads of elements of like technology now that sort of like can tell you where to go and how to get somewhere. So you don't stumble upon these places and create your own connections to spaces. And I really miss that like element of it. And I don't think it's completely lost in our society, but I think it's something that's sort of like hidden and it needs to be more prominent because having these connections to spaces is like really important, not only for like your mental health, but um, I just think it's a really nice thing that a lot of people would enjoy and they're missing out on. So mine was sort of like commenting on like wandering culture and again, sort of the idea of like um, psychogeography. Um, and then we staged a mini protest and I put it in black and white because I really like the idea of like seem making it seem sort of like timeless and that um, idea of like using film again. And I was also looking, this was like, this whole um, idea was inspired by Mark Wallinger's um, State Britain piece, which I found really interesting. But also I really enjoyed the idea of like, because I don't want to make my work too um, political because it's not really political at all. Um, so I just wanted to, I like the idea of having this sort of like ethical side to it that I think I'll definitely move forward into my um, project completely because I really like this idea that I have um, like explored. And so this is where I decided on my final theme. So this is the poem I was talking about earlier. This is my poem about um, just connection to spaces as a whole rather than... Um, individually and I titled it topophilia because that's that connection to a uh, space like an emotional connection to a place which I really really I think that's probably the title of my whole theme and I was looking at this idea of um how that's like an umbrella term for all the things I want to talk about and I also made a um short video explaining all the sort of like certain specifics I want to explore in my theme um and then these are two artists that I was looking at that just sort of related to um, what I was talking about. And then this is just a quick, um, this is just, I was looking at this idea of using my film photos to just make like a quick sort of like almost mood board of like how I could go about like, like hiding or like fragmenting these like moments and memories. So I did this with a paper and it sort of overlays over it. But then I also like how it looks when it's just the film photos in these sort of like cubic shapes and like the black and white mixing with the color um but it's just like a complete initial response and i'm gonna experiment more of this next week